Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some East Memories of Salsada. Um, we're, get, we're ready to explore Mount Vesuvio. Let's go do it. Let's see what's on this, uh, snowy mountain top. Other than, uh, what looks to be gigantic yetis. Um, these guys are actually taking a bit of hits, so there's a good chance we might have to level. What are we at? 19, 4, 10. Killing one of them gets me... Okay, so that's about... It's about a thousand for killing one of these. Let's keep going. Not as much as I'd hope, honestly. Uh, but that it that there is there was like what like four of them, so that'd be like a thousand apiece. Um, I feel like we could level on this mountain if I really wanted to, probably. Um, there's a big rock up there. Uh. And there's a memory over here by how that thing was just shaking like that. Oh, no, damn it! I didn't mean to use that. Oh, here we go. Alright, throw that. We need to get that memory down uh, for Adol. Because I'm almost, I, I've almost filled out all of Adol's uh, memories. If I manage to get them all, I think what I'll do is maybe go through them all from the start, so you guys can see them all. Oh, is this a tent? That's, oh no. Oh, this is um. This might be a spot uh, where I'll see King Lafonts, right? Yeah, there he is. I'm impressed that you knew where to find me. Should you really be here now? Your five retainers are worried about your absence from the temple. As the place where I first swore to become king, this is the starting point of who I am now. There's nowhere more suitable when I wish to think undisturbed. You can be quite the troublesome monarch, disappearing every time you have something to think about. Ha! Huh, so I heard about the tower. What inspired you to build one in such a place? Oh, nothing in particular. It's just a little retreat for myself. Perhaps it's a place suitable for me to think undisturbed? Are you intending to leave El Duke then? One day, yes. I've told you before, I intend to leave the kingdom of Salsada to mankind once I feel mankind is ready to take care of her. But it is best to do so in stages first. I shall leave the Temple of the Sun and lend support from behind the scenes. Yes, I recall you discussing that plan once. Yes. I intend to gradually move before and more into the background. So much so that one day people will completely forget my existence. At which point, I'll merely watch over them, living a life of peace and ser serenity. That's my plan, anyway. I see. I would expect no less from you. Well, wish me luck, old friend. I'm going off to work toward this retirement of mine bit by bit. Was that someone's memory? He was talking to Lord Eldeo. Adol, could that have been... The Fonts. That was my thought as well. So that's Lisa's ancestor, the founder of the Kingdom of Salsetta. Seems like those two were pretty close. So this is what the Rota Tree meant by experiencing the Fonts' memories. I had no idea it would be so literal. There may be other locations ahead where his memories remain. I suspect you're right. We should keep an eye out for more as we go. This has to be, uh, her.
Wee. Aha, uh -huh. this is kind of cool. Whoa, my lord. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. <laughs> don't fall in. Guys, don't fall in. That's what they that's what I said. Alright, we're good, we're good. What's over here? Oh gosh, we don't want to be here. So we keep sliding. Oh no, okay. Harp music. Remnos. Hey. Karna, Abba, I knew you'd come. That's a lovely tune. <laughs> Adol, you're as pleasant as you're as pleasant as ever. What are you trying to find here? It must be pretty damn important if you need this many soldiers to get it. Oh, I think you know. Now that he has the Mask of the Sun, there's only one thing left Lord Gruda still needs. The Mask of the Moon, formerly owned by King Lafont of Salceta. I was afraid you'd say that. So you're here for the same reason we are. Well, there was always a chance such a legendary artifact may possess the same power as the Mask of the Sun. Fortunately, it seems his worries were in vain. What do you mean? We've already located the Mask of the Moon. You were right in thinking it's here on this mountain. But, However, not only is it broken in half, it appears to have lost all of its former power. It's just a decoration now. And since we have no use for a broken shell of a mask, we just left it where it was. So you're just going to let us have it? If you don't believe me, by all means, go and have a look for yourself. This whole excursion has been nothing but a huge waste of time. I have no desire to waste more, if you'll excuse me. Wait! What's happening to my mask? Gah! Remnos, what's going on? I knew we couldn't trust you. Did Lord Gruda not ask you to bring him the Mask of the Moon? It may have lost its power, but you have your orders. Why aren't you following them? It's not for you to decide what Lord Gruda wants. It... it's her! Weren't you supposed to be at the temple? Don't be coy with me. When you broke free of my spell all on your own, I knew you had potential. Imagine my surprise when you suddenly pledged loyalty to Lord Gruda and excelled beyond all expectations as leader of the Mass Division. Your talents were great and you needed no co coaxing to help us. It's like you were the perfect lackey. A little too perfect. Yeah. <laughs> I never thought I'd hear you compliment me so highly. I'm honored. Don't mock me. I knew I couldn't let my guard down around you. Lately, I haven't been able to read your thoughts. That's why I decided to tweak your mask. I set it so that if you ever did anything that ran counter to your our orders, it would take your life. What? And would you look at that? My little modification just kicked in. You were thinking of giving the Mask of the Moon to them, weren't you? Oh, dear. Uh, I was doing so well, too. I can't believe I let my guard down at the last moment. The Mass Division is approaching. Well, hold on now. Are you telling me that everything Remnos has been doing this whole time was... A ruse, it would seem. He pretended to obey Gruda, all the while gathering information to use against him. I never doubted you for a minute. <laughs> really? I thought my acting was fairly splendid, if I do say so myself. Silence! How dare you betray me? How dare you bring shame upon me like this? The spell I cast upon your mask will squeeze the life out of you, bit by bit, until the pressure finally ends you. But don't worry, your dear sister will be joining you on your trip to the underworld. Where did she go? I bet to recover the Mask of the Moon. We must dispatch these soldiers and pursue. Watch out, Adol! Ah! What are these bastards? I don't like them. Especially with their knockdown hits. They're annoying. Oh my gosh. 
Ah, oh, come on! That was the last of them. Ugh. Remnos! We'll find a way to get you out of this, I swear. Car, nah. Go after Bammy. It gets them. When they, when they wanted to dispose of Leo and them, he gave them uh, poison mushrooms that were, like, only, you know, not killable. They were, like, just, like, to do give them diarrhea. Hmm. Not so tough now, are you? We can save him? How? The only way to break Bammy's curse is to stop it at its source. In other words, you're going to have to take her down. Where'd you hear that? We overheard some of the guards talking about it when we were sneaking by. Yes, exactly. We were listening in to the enemy's com communications. It was genius intelligence. We're really gonna have to hurry. We'll have to find the mask and to save Ramnos. Kalinika. Go, as fast as you can. Everything this man has done has been for the sake of his homeland. He's been pretending to obey Bami from the start, trying to solve the mystery of the mask so he could pass that information on to you eventually. W what? <laughs> so you knew all along, did you? Much as I hate to admit it, he's a chivalrous warrior. Leave him to me. I'll look after him until you return. Commander Leo, thank you. We owe you one. Th there's no need to thank me. Just go and get the Mask of the Moon and open the temple door. Otherwise we won't be able to continue trailing Gruda. Look, he's blushing. I'm not surprised. People usually complain to him or just straight up insult him. He doesn't get thanked very often. Silence! That's an order! We're going to need to take him somewhere safe. How about the ruse nest near Alduk? It's not far from here at all. Yeah, that'd be your best bet. Very well. We'll be waiting for you there. Now hurry along, Adol. You've got no time to waste. Let's go. Remnos, I'll take her down and break this curse myself. I won't let anything happen to you. Karna. Adol. Take care. Damn. <laughs> That's very awesome of him, though. Uh, stepping up like that. Alright.
Oh my gosh. I'm also wondering, um, did we get that memory? Aldeo's concern. Oh, we did. Okay. I was wondering if the red memories uh, jump into this list as well. We're close. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, we just need five more. We have all of his memories except for, yeah, five more. No boss fight is up there. Whether it be Bammy or whoever. Now, this area is all that remains. Stop right there, Bammy! We'll be taking the Mask of the Moon. We finally caught up with you. <laughs> if it isn't Remnos' sister, what do you think you can do to me when you can't even handle little Remnos? I see you're as unpleasant as ever. Relying on the mass, manipulating the innocent to do your bidding, following Gruda without question. Everything you have every... Everything you have... Everything you are is borrowed from someone else. You don't scare me, you're just a coward. How dare you! I'll admit to being a little frustrated when I found out about Remnos' ability. It felt like all my struggles amounted to nothing, like I was doomed to be in second place from the very start. But Remnos always fought alone with his own strength and wits. He never flaunted them. He never used others. I'm proud to call myself his sister, and embarrassed to think I could ever be jealous of him for a single moment. And yet that strong, courageous brother of yours is still lost to me. So what does that tell you about your chances? Remnos didn't lose to you. He lost to one of your cheap tricks. And you only relied on those cheap tricks because you knew you couldn't defeat him if you didn't. What a foolish way to view the situation. The last one standing is always the victor, no matter how that victory was achieved. And as you're about to learn, I will always be the last one standing. Another mask. Is she monstering up? Yes, she is. She's a harpy. The Enchanting Magician, Bammy. Is she still human? Her form is monstrous. So you're going to rely on cheap tricks to the bitter end? As long as I kill you all here, the Mask of the Moon will be mine, and then I'll have no need for Remnos anymore either. Allow me to show you how powerless you truly are. <laughs> Oh, bats? Really? Oh, I can't move. That's great. Thank <laughs> you. 
not really, though. What is that? What is she charging up for? Get up, Adam. Get up. Really? Let me go, let me go. No, 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 no. Oh my god, oh my god. I can't, I can't aim at her right now. Did, okay, did she drop him? Yeah, she did. She freaking grabbed the Adol and just was trying to take him. Stupid. Go away. Alright, come on. Alright. Lightning's coming, lightning's coming. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Jeez. Ow, ow, come on, with the fire. She does that fire some, like, 12 times now. She's so damn hurt. Oh, my God. Ow. Fight through it, Adolf, fight through it. Stinky feet away from me. Oh, come on! No, no. What the hell? Drop him! Where's she at? Is she dead? She is dead. Ow. And here comes more of the damn bats. Because she can't get enough of bats right now. Move, move! Who's she grabbing? Dropped her on her ass and killed her. And her, those bats are annoying. I, I don't like them at all. Never battle more. Oh no! Annoying ass bats. No 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 no. Let her go. <laughs> all right, you're dead. Oh, you're not dead. Okay. 
perfectly ha I'm happy with that. You're almost dead, though. Got you. Stupid ass Bammy. We, we did it. And with that, the curse on Remnos should now be broken. Congratulations, Karna. You both found and saved him. Everyone, thank you all so much. Now let's get the Mask of the Moon. There's an altar of some kind over there. Let's take a closer look. And there's a memory. The Mask of the Moon? Indeed. Think of it as the Mask of the Sun's counterpart. It's twin. Naturally, I wasn't able to replicate the Mask of the Sun completely, but... Why would you create such a thing, and why give it to me? Is the Mask of the Sun not an artifact of divine power, created through arts men have long been forbidden to possess? It is as you say. Forgive my impertinence, then, but did you not already state your wish to leave the Kingdom of Salceta to mankind? Would this not go directly against those wishes? I have expressed that desire, yes. However, I've been forced to change my plans a bit. As such, I'd like you to accept this, my friend. I would prefer it if you never had to use it, but I must prepare for the worse. I'll explain further another time. Directly, that would make things so much easier. Could there be anyone else around who's familiar with what happened back then? Well, there's the rotor tree, but it... He, uh, didn't seem to know any more than what we were already told. That just leaves King LaFance. Yes. How unfortunate that the dead are not likely to provide many answers when questioned. For now, let's just see what's inside the chest. We have the left side of the Mask of Moon. This is the Mask of Moon. It's kind of in terrible shape. Looks like Remnos was right when he said it was snapped in half. The Rota Tree did mention feeling an energy source from two different locations. We might find the second half in the other location, then. That would be the Lake Thomas Ruins. I guess we know where we're headed next. Where we're headed next. Alright, let's go see Remnos, though. Actually, he should be at uh, the people, right? The um, these guys. Okay, you don't gotta tell us twice. Say we know our next destination, but I don't. But, yeah, I don't know. I don't know where this place is. Oh, right there. Okay. Uh, that seems to be like... Maybe from that side? I don't know.
She said they were both accessed through the way that uh, I made it to the place at, though, at least. So now I'll be going the right way if I go uh, straight up there. It just ends up being down here instead. To get to Lake Thomas. this way. Let's try going this way. Gotta be something. Uh, looks like I'm going right way. Yeah, like Thomas. There it is. So like Thomas ruins. And you know who's gonna be here. This will be the Gaddis part, probably. Wow, the water here is so clear and beautiful. It really is amazing. It looks even clearer from up close than it did from the top of the hill. Yeah. What is this place, Frida? These are the Lake Thomas runs. Although despite the name, they're still actively used. Actively used? That's right. I believe they've been in use ever since the Kingdom of Salcedo was first founded. These runs serve as a very important purpose. Let's go inside, shall we? Fingers crossed that we find some kind of clue to the Mask of the Moon. Fingers crossed indeed, Surrogate uh, Dougie. Like Thomas Ruins. I'm gonna end up probably exploring this off-screen. Um... I want to end it here. But thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, I'll come back at the next story part of this area. Um, I'm just going to basically run through it as fast as possible. <laughs> and um, I, might, I might actually do some grinding. Where am I at? 31,000? Let's see what we get from killing these guys. No. We, we got literally crap. Oh. So never mind on the ground. They're grinding the front. But I, um, yeah, I'm going to try and get through this as quick as possible. Um, I'll see you guys later. Bye bye Oh, wait. There's a memory here. <laughs> It has been quite some time since we were last able to meet in private like this, your highness. Please don't mock me. I've never been fit to be king, and I'm still nowhere near ready to be addressed as such. I believe I've told you that several times. However, the cruel one you are, I'll deal. <laughs> I could say exactly the same to you. I believe I'm, I've told you countless times as well that I'm not at all fit to be regarded as a god, and yet you scold me every time I say so. I shall have to concede defeat on that one. Still, I don't feel it quite appropriate to compare a human such as I with a god such as you. Anxiety, impatience, envy. As long as I'm mortal, I must continue to experience the many dark emotions of humans. I can't help but get a bit snippy on occasion, even in the presence of the only man I trust. That's quite the conniving defense. You leave me little to say in response. <laughs> I may lack many human emotions that I am forced to admit, how does it feel to have such negative emotions? Perhaps, like another person has emerged within you? Another person, you say? I suppose you could phrase it like that, though it's a rather unusual turn of phrase. But 
I suppose it is. <laughs> Damn. Another of King LaFonce's memories. To think an old memory like this had taken place in the very spot we had, we stand now. Which means there could still be others in the area. I suspect you're right. We should keep an eye out for more as we go. Alright, um, so, wow, that's a big toad. Now, then, I will end it. Thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Hope you guys enjoyed. Um, next part, we'll come back um, when we uh, make it to a story part. Bye!